So I'm glad you think it's fun to glue L's onto a paper that says L on it. Gotta love kindergarten. Good morning, sweet friends. Today is September 8th. I don't have a ton of time to talk to you this morning, but I will go ahead and show you my outfit really quickly. My t-shirt is from Etsy. It says, en esta clase hay mucho amor. In this class, there is much love. And then I'm wearing one of the $10 Walmart dresses because I decided I really liked the shirt over dress combination. I will say this one has pockets, so it looks a little bit strange under the shirt, maybe. Like, not as cute as the other one, but still pretty cute. I'm sorry I'm so bad at like showing you my outfits. I just don't really have like a good setup to do that. So this morning, I think my aide is here because I see her coffee. So I'm gonna ask her to print these little rewards I have for my students. I'll show you those in just a second. And I'm going to rely on my iced coffee that's in the fridge right now because I did not have time to make coffee this morning and I did not have time to go get coffee. So I'm so glad I keep coffee in my class. So what I did was I took a normal baggie and cut it in half and then I used my straightener to seal the edge. And then I just printed this very simple little kiss your brain sign. I wrote their name on all of them. That way we would know if one parent had accidentally gotten two or someone in their family had gotten two because I only have enough for 20 kids. But this just says, kiss your brain. Thank you, student, for participating in class last week and for being a great student. Let's keep working hard and earning dojo points. Enjoy these brain kisses from your teacher. Love, Mrs. The only thing I did for school this weekend, over Labor Day weekend, was make those little kiss your brain rewards so my students could get them and plan. And the reason that I planned at home is because I needed a lot of time to plan because I went ahead and planned out most of my month. I might be able to talk to you about that later, but I'm gonna go ahead and get everything started for our morning and I'll talk to you soon. You guys, whole group went so well. I feel like we had time for everything, everything. And I even introduced their side words today. We did our phonics, which major, major struggle still. I think a big part of it is because we're virtual and there's just like a disconnect in communication. But we had time to do our letter search as usual. We had time to do our mystery letter. We had time to do our read aloud and our shared reading, which they did awesome with today. I had a couple of friends who just were not listening to me, but I'm trying to focus on the ones who were and they were doing an awesome job. And I'm just so stinking proud of them. I can't even explain it. So today on their own, they're gonna be doing this handwriting page. Then when they meet with me for small groups, we're gonna work on part of their alphabet books. Again, this is by Tara West. And I just put it in the order that I wanted. And then each group has a different activity. So I'm gonna be doing this with two of my groups. And then this with one of my groups where you just color the picture. And then this, with one of my groups where they come up with their own picture. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for small groups. My biggest issue, I think I say this every week, I'm like, my biggest problem this week, it's that kids don't show up. So I'm really hoping that this week is a little bit different because I love seeing them. I love having them in class. And for the most part, it's awesome. So hopefully I get a good turnout. Your glue and your scissors. Do not start without Miss Call, okay? okay? We have some very important things we need to discuss before we use our scissors, okay? So does everybody have their scissors? Yeah. Okay. With our scissors, we have to be very safe. We have to be very safe. safe. Good. Now when we have our scissors, we cannot hold them right by our face. Do not hold them right by your face, because what could happen? You could accidentally cut yourself or you could poke yourself. So we do not want to hold them by our face, okay? We also do not want to point them at anybody, right? Sharp, right? We got to be careful and responsible, okay? Whenever you're holding them, should we ever just do this for fun? No. No, we have to be very safe, okay? Now if I'm cutting my paper, should I hold my paper really close like this to see what I'm cutting? No, what could happen? Oh my gosh, I could cut myself by accident and that would not be fun. So this is how I want you to do it, okay? I want you to hold your paper and your scissors in front of you and down. In front of you and down. Can you show me what that looks like? 
Good, you do not want to put it close to your face, right? We want to be safe, so hold it away from your face. Miss Cole wants you to cut out all of these letters, and I want you to do it the safe way, okay? The safe way, so I want you to follow the lines and cut slow, okay? We want to cut slow so that we don't accidentally cut our fingers. So cut slow, and you're gonna cut out all of your letters, and if you have any scraps of paper, make sure those go in the trash. Okay, when you have all your letters, I want you to spread them out so you can see them, like this. And what letters are we looking for? K, we're looking for K. You're gonna glue it over here on our Ks. All right, does Miss Call want you to glue the entire thing? No. no, just one little dot. I want it to be the right way. I wanna make it look like this K, right? I'm back, small groups went very well. Math, on the other hand, was not quite as smooth. We used our number lines for the first time today. The kindergarten teacher who was here before me kind of had like a little packet that she sent home with them and these number lines were included. So we used this side today. There also is a 20 side, but we used this side today. We practice counting on it and we're doing counting on right now as our skill this week. And this was a struggle because everything that's been sent home to them is like very difficult for them to find i guess it's all in like one folder but a lot of families have trouble finding things in that folder it's just a folder that looks like this but it was crazy for a solid five minutes because i just had kids screaming at me that they didn't have it or they couldn't find it and finally i was just like please mute please mute this call cannot help everybody when you are all screaming at me so I think the ones who didn't have it were able to just look off of me and that was okay. And then we practiced some counting on Jamboard. So really we're working on counting on and we're continuing that skill of touching and counting. Um, right now we're just doing counting in like arrays, not in random pictures or any scattered formations, just straight up counting in arrays to determine how many and counting on. And I guess besides the number line troubles, it really wasn't that bad but it was crazy there for a minute. So I have one group coming for our intervention today and we're gonna do a little bit of letter sound review and that'll be it. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, which can you guess what it is? Uncrustables and watermelon. And I could make like a protein shake too. I might do that, I'll see you later. Okay, so I am done for the day, pretty much. I'm just going through their red folders, which is the folders that they had last week, and I'm checking their work and writing all of them little notes. Hopefully they like the notes that I send, um, but that's pretty much all I have for today, so I'll see you when I get home. Okay, you're sitting in my cabinet. John and I just worked out. I'm drinking my BCAAs, and John's getting dinner started. So we're doing spinach, bacon, and tomato pasta tonight, but we're also adding chicken to it. So I'm gonna use this as my meal prep for tomorrow and Thursday. So if you go to my Instagram page and you click on the link in my bio and you scroll down, you'll see my virtual recipe book and we are making this tonight. I have the instructions here for you in case you wanna make it. This meal takes a little bit more prep than other meals, but if you do it ahead of time, it's not bad. We are not doing it ahead of time, but I'm going to chop up this entire bag of spinach. I'm gonna cut these tomatoes in half. Yes, I know there's things you can use. We're just gonna cut them. Um, John's gonna cut the onion, mince up some garlic, and we're gonna do a Parmesan and Asiago cheese mix. I get all of my cheese from Trader Joe's because they have the best, best prices. So this is $6.96, is that what it says? $6.36 for this huge wedge of Parmesan that is such a good deal, and Asiago is just gonna be the cherry on top. So this is everything we're prepping. We have chicken and bacon cooking in the oven. Also, usually I use penne pasta or like rigatoni for this, but the only pasta we have enough of right now is orchetti, which is my favorite pasta, so that's okay. But normally I make this with penne. Who's 
been a good girl. Sit. Jump. Jump. Good girl. Spin. Good girl. Sit. Down. Up. Jump. Jump. Good girl. Here you go. Ready? Catch. Good catch. So here's our dinner and this is all the extra I made I genuinely did not mean to make this much but I guess um, four cups of pasta is a ton so me and John have lunch for the next few days Good morning sweet friends today is Wednesday September 9th I stopped by Starbucks I got a venti today because I really 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 wanted coffee so this is what I got just in case you're curious. And then I went ahead and brought one of my mugs from home just because I know I'm not gonna finish this before it gets cold. So you know I live in California and right now there are wildfires happening everywhere. So driving to school this morning felt so weird. It almost felt like post-apocalyptic. Like the skies are brown and red and gray and everything just feels weird. And it doesn't even feel like it's 7.39 in the morning right now. Oh, I will show you. I did my nails last night. This one has a little bit more flowers than this one does, but I was going for fall vibes. And then my hair this morning, I just curled for like an extra two minutes because it was looking absolutely crazy. So I put it up and my shirt is my shirt. And I'm just wearing jeans and sandals. I was actually getting dressed this morning and I could not remember what I wore yesterday. And then I realized on the way to school that I wore a teacher t-shirt. So I'm wearing a teacher t-shirt two days in a row, but I think that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, write the morning message and get ready for my kids and catch up with you later. Let's go, let's go. It is the end of the day. I feel exhausted today. I don't know why. I don't think anything crazy happened today. Actually, I do have kind of a sad story. So my kids have these math mats is what I call them. Um, I showed you these in my vlog before, but they are like these very like thick, durable, like they're not easy to rip whiteboard math maths, right? Well, we're working in math and actually I had them using these. They're just lines in a sheet protector. Um, but one of my students, I guess, can't find theirs, so they were using the math mat. And all of a sudden, I'm trying to teach, and I just hear, like, crying, like, ballistic crying. And I'm like, what's happening? So let's just say their name was Sarah. I said, Sarah, what's happening? Are you okay? And, and Sarah is bawling her eyes out, and she's like, you're gonna be so mad at me. And I was like, what, ha what happened? Like, tell me what happened. And she holds up her math mat, and it's, like, ripped, so I don't know what happens. I feel like maybe it was like stuck on something and she tried to pull it out because, or maybe, I don't know, maybe she was playing with it. I have no idea, but it was ripped. She just kept saying that I was gonna be so mad at her. And I was like, Sarah, I'm not mad at you. It was a mistake, right? And she just couldn't even say yes because she was crying so much. And it took her like the rest of math to be okay. And this is the kind of thing that makes it really hard because kindergarten in person, like that's the kind of stuff that happens. But virtually, there's the, I can't comfort them. There's nothing I can do except tell her it's okay, it was a mistake, and move on. So there's that. Only had a couple of other breakdowns during class. Like the first time we did a directed drawing, one kid cried because they couldn't do it. And then another kid cried one day because I think they couldn't write their name or something like that. So I just hate it because I, there's not much that I can do over a screen. And these kids still haven't even met me in person. And I just hate it. I hate that so much. So today we read the book, I Am Enough. And this was donated to our class by Rachel Johnson, so thank you so much, Rachel. I really liked reading this book with them. I hadn't read this book before, and it is a book that if you had first graders, they could read this on their own, mostly. Um, I'll just show you a page as like a little example. So I asked them what they noticed throughout the book, and we had kind of like a mini conversation about like diversity and helping others, and it's very, very hard to do these things virtually, because I'll ask them a question, and they, 
don't necessarily know the answer <laughs> like when talking about how they all look different is that okay and they'll say no and I'm like no it, it is okay like it's totally fine that's how we're made we're all different it's just I feel like lines get blurred someone came in my room and I don't remember what I was saying anyways in small groups we worked on our letter of the day which today our letter of the day was L so some of my kids did this activity some of them did color by first sound L and then some of them did this activity where you rainbow write and draw a picture that starts with that letter. I have really enjoyed doing these with my kids, mostly because we haven't done very many crafts and I like getting to teach them how to use crayons and scissors and all those tools the right way. And they think it's really fun. I remember one of my students, um, when we were doing this yesterday, had to leave a little early and she was so excited. She was like, mom, can I finish this when we get back? And I'm like, I'm so glad that you want to finish it. I'm so glad you think it's fun to glue L's onto a paper that says L on it. Gotta love kindergarten. So it's very difficult to teach a kindergartner virtually how you put your thumb when they don't even know what their thumb is inside the small hole and your other fingers in the big hole. So luckily most of um, most of them had parents or siblings or someone beside them and they showed them. But I'm just like, I just didn't anticipate that. Didn't I didn't anticipate it. Let's see. Oh, we also worked with our number lines again. Um, and I looked up while I was teaching and one kid just had it in his mouth. Like he was going to town on his number lines. That, there's that. <laughs> again, we're working on the zero to 10 side and we're just working on counting on, so I have them kind of touch it. We also used our whiteboards today. I didn't record any of it because I was just really busy. And it's very, very, very difficult virtually to tell if they're doing it or not, which actually today, some of my kids like moved their Chromebook, like they angled it down so that I could see their paper and I was like, I am dumb. I am so dumb for not thinking of asking them to do that. So I started asking them later on in the day because I was like, wow, instead of just asking them to hold up their papers, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, very, very simple, easy fix. And I don't even care if it's upside down because I can still read upside down what they're doing. And I love seeing their faces, but I would rather see their work right now because then it's easier for me to like spot what specific kids need. So. We're gonna try more of that tomorrow. And yeah, that was pretty much our day. I did get their folders prepped for next week. So our week this week, they all have blue folders and then we'll finish the blue folders on Friday. Their parents will bring the blue folders and pick up the red folders. I honestly don't even have some of the red folders, so I just paper clipped their work. I mean, the red folder, blue folder, two folder homework system works great if the parents or someone can bring it to the school, but if they don't bring it and they get their work three days late, it just, it doesn't work, so there's that. <laughs> but honestly, I think we're all just doing the best we can do, so. I'm just rolling with it. My aide helped me get everything copied. So those are in the cafeteria. They are ready and I just need to kill like five more minutes before I have to go home. So yeah. I lied. I'm back. Are we surprised? No, probably not. I was about to order some books on Amazon because I'm going to start teaching weather and patterns and changes in weather next week um, kind of through our read alouds which is how I did it in first grade so all of our science and social studies we all taught that through a read aloud and I really like doing it that way so I mean really it just makes sense and here's the thing being at a charter school and being the only kindergarten teacher on my team it's a little bit difficult when it comes to resources luckily I do know about resources online that are there for me so I went to Tennessee's unit starters because I wanted a place where I could find like IRAs if I needed them. I wanted to be able to find books that went with certain themes and it'll break down for you like how to teach it and I can kind of modify that as I want to but let me just show you. Okay so I'm on the Tennessee Department of Education website and I'm just using the unit starter so I'm in earth and space science for kindergarten and if you scroll down this page is helpful but they give you a list of, here it is, they give you a list of books and resources that you can use to teach that concept. And here's even more books. Um, and it kind of breaks down vocabulary. I mean, it's a whole unit and it kind of gives you ideas of how to teach it. So that's something that's just really helpful for me because there are like entire lesson plans that I can use and modify as I need to. So these are some of the books that I'm picking up. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Good morning, sweet friends. Today is Thursday. I don't really have much time to talk before I put up their morning journal and start class officially. I did stop by Starbucks on the way to school today and I got 
a menti vanilla cream sweet cream cold brew because my husband really likes these and I wanted something big today but I can't say that I love it. <laughs> I did add caramel to it. I don't know. It's just got like a weird, a weird taste. Do you like the sweet cream cold brew? Let me know because I feel like <sighs> I'd rather just not have the sweet cream. <laughs> Today is another no makeup day. I'm feeling more comfortable doing these at school, which is a big win for me. And for my outfit, I am wearing a shirt I'm wearing today. I really like kind people are my kind of people. It's a long sleeve shirt today because it's been a little cold in here and it's a little bit cool outside. At least it was yesterday here. My shirt I did buy from the right stuff chicks, but I honestly would not recommend that you get it because I ordered a sweatshirt and instead this long sleeve shirt came which would be fine if I had ordered a long sleeve shirt but I ordered a sweatshirt it does have like a detail right here I don't know if you can see it's like a cross detail but it is definitely like a shirt and when I reached out to them and I said hey I ordered a sweatshirt a sweatshirt is what's pictured on your website can I please have a sweatshirt like I'm happy to send this one back they refused to do it and then I checked like their Facebook and under their posts a lot of people experience the same thing and they wouldn't send people sweatshirts which is what they were advertising and what they had as the picture on their website and I shared my experience on Instagram and then they were like okay we'll send you a sweatshirt and I was like that just doesn't sit well with me so I wouldn't recommend them if you're looking for teacher t-shirts honestly I love lipstick and littles for teacher t-shirts so I definitely would recommend my friend Ashley I sell them too but you already know that I can't show you but I get so excited watching them work on their morning journals in the morning because I don't have my camera on I just have my screen sharing the journal prompt I love watching this. You need a pencil and crayons and scissors and glue. All right, so friends, what letter is this? M. M. And M says, mmm. Stop playing. M says, mmm. Repeat after me. M says, mmm. Can you take your Chromebook and can you close it a little bit so I can see your papers? Can you close it a little bit so I can see your paper? Close it a little bit, just a little bit. You need to still see me, but I wanna see your paper. Can you see? Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me see your beautiful M tracing, just like a kindergartner, beautiful, beautiful. So look at me. Okay, just one straight line, okay? Just one straight line. We're gonna use this paper. Show me your empty hands. Go over our rules about scissors, okay? Because when we're using scissors, we have to be what? Careful, we have to be safe. Never really close, just in front of you. Good, sweet friends. And what is the only thing we cut with scissors? What's the only thing we cut? Paper. Paper, paper is the only thing we cut with scissors. Do we cut our clothes? No. Do we cut our hair? No. No. We just cut paper and we be very, very safe. Cut slow so we're safe, right? Your scissors should never point towards you. They should always point away. Okay, sweet so friends, what do we do with this extra white paper? Where does it go? In the trash can, right? We're not gonna leave it on our floors for our parents to clean up. We're gonna clean it up ourselves, right? Good, you only need a little bit of glue at the top. We're gonna put one little dot. Should I put my M like this? No, no, turn it the right way. When Miss Call is done with her glue, should I just leave it like that? No. Oh my gosh, what should I what should I do? Put the lid back on. Yeah, put the lid back on and make sure it's all the way on. Thank you for coming to Small Group. I'll see you at math. You did an awesome job today, friends. Thank you for being safe using your scissors. Bye, thank you for being safe. I'll see you later. Morning, sweet friends. Today is Friday, September 11th. I did not have a ton of time to vlog yesterday, and then when I got home, I was exhausted. So there wasn't very much from yesterday. Today, I'm going to go ahead and write the morning message. As usual, get ready for class to start. Probably try to film a little bit more of class today and then talk to you later. Miss Call writes a good morning message for you every single day. What do these first two words say? Good morning. If you were the teacher, what would we do in school? Hmm. If you were the teacher, what would we do? Oh, you teach ABCs and numbers. That's what I would teach if she was the teacher. Who else wants to share? Snowflake. Snow. 
notebook. Note. Book. Say ball. Good. Add kick to the beginning and you get kick ball. Kick ball. Good, sweet friend. Say night time. Good. If we take away the time, we just have night. Good, good, good. Can you sit on your bottom for me? I don't want you to fall asleep, sweet girl. All right, next word, say daytime. Let's try that again, only one person said it. Good, take away the time and we just have day. But oh, please don't cut your pencil, sweet girl. Please don't cut it, okay. I eat all my food. Good, let's clap it out together, ready? I like to play in the park. And I'm gonna draw some delicious gooey cheese. Mmm, nachos. And it's hot, so I'm gonna draw some lines to show that it's hot. Nachos. And last, we have mm, nut, not, wait, not peanuts, just mm, nuts. Good, if it was peanuts, it would have a P in front. It would say p, p, peanuts. But we just have mm, nuts. All right, friends, we need fresh eyes. So I want you to cover your eyes. 10, open your eyes. Are your eyes fresh? Are they clear? <laughs> this is one of our sight words that we've been learning. What's the word? I, good, I did it. Let's see if you remember this word, are you ready? The, good, the ball, the car. What's this word? The, I, 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 the, 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 T, H, E, the. Miss Call's gonna take away a letter. I'm gonna take away a letter of our word and I'm gonna see if you can figure it out. Okay, so keep it in your brain. T, good. What's this word? T. The. What letter did I take away? E. E, good. What's this word? The. the. If you look at the uppercase N, it has all straight lines. Say all straight lines. All straight lines. When we do our uppercase N, we need to make sure that our N has all straight lines. Good, we don't want any Ns that look like this because that just looks like a squiggle. Hey, sweet friends, today is the end of the day on Friday. I honestly cannot even remember if I talked to you this morning. I don't think that I did. I didn't get coffee, I didn't really do anything. I had a protein bar for breakfast. Today is a very, very exciting day for me because the movers in Tennessee picked up my stuff from the storage unit and it is coming to California. And the best part is they said it will probably be here Friday or Saturday. So my classroom is going to be here in like a week and I could not be more excited. That being said, I'm not in a rush to set it up. My principal did give me some information that kind of got my hopes up that kids maybe might come back sometime in the future, but I'm still not in a rush to set up my classroom. But my aide started helping me today taking down the things from the walls. So I'll show you. So I'm just at my table right now but everything is off of the walls. That's where my aid is at right now, but eventually I wanna move her more by um, where the phone is. Everything's off the walls. I was actually quite surprised because it did not take long to get everything, ugh! It didn't take long to get everything off of the walls. Most of it was pushed in with push pins. Some of it was stapled and some of it had um, that blue sticky tack, which I used in college and regretted and will never use again. But there is a ton of sticky tack all over this wall. I don't know if you can see. That is like a whole project. But it's very exciting to see it almost as a clean slate. The closet is still completely full. Both closets are still completely full and there's still a ton of things 
everywhere on the shelves, but it's a starting point and I'm excited because I don't know, I might come in over the weekend and start like moving things around a little bit more. I don't know, I can't decide. If I do, I'll start filming a classroom setup. But again, I'm gonna take it slow. Now it looks like Trader Joe's is sponsoring this video, which they're not, which you can Trader Joe's, just let me know, but they're not. I am eating these oven baked cheese bites, which are delicious. Okay, this one's broken, but. <laughs> So John and I just worked out. I'm drinking my BCAAs, 1UP. You're also welcome to sponsor me. Not sponsored, but you're welcome to. But I wanted to come on for the Q&A portion of the video. So every single week on my Instagram, I have started putting a Q&A box for the vlog. <laughs> the first question, um, my friend Carrie said, how much wine required after a day of online teaching? Just asking for a friend. Comment your answer in the comment section and let me know what you think and I'll respond if it's the same as me. Um, let's see, how do you track any obsession on your watch? What setting do you use? I always set my workout to other on my watch, so other. <laughs> the Alaskan teacher, which thank you for asking questions every week, said district plans to go back in person. My principal came in, and I mentioned this earlier, and mentioned that he's trying to get a waiver for K through six to come back in person, and I got one of those like automated phone calls when I got home asking for parents to give their feedback on what they thought, so I'm very excited. Abby Daggy said, how do you find a motivation after school to work out? Honestly, working out is just part of my routine now. It's just something I do and I really, really look forward to it, which is the absolute craziest thing. And I feel, I don't know, I feel some type of way coming on here and saying, I look forward to working out. Cause I'm like, if you know me, like that's not the kind of person that I ever was, but that's who I am now. So I really look forward to it. Um, and yeah, I have a full video on starting my journey. Uh, if you want to watch that, you can click the I button right up here, but I kind of explain how I got started and I have fitness highlights on Instagram that'll probably be really helpful, but you just have to force yourself to do it until you want to do it. And you will eventually, maybe. It took a long time for me, but we're here. I don't know how to say your name, but Ohem, OMG Fit Girl said, thoughts about pandemic and schools reopening. So I want my kids to come back. Obviously, I want them to come back, but I also want it to be safe So I know that my school is going to take all the proper precautions. We're not there yet But I would like to go back in person. That's just what I want personally. I hate virtual teaching I trying my best, but I really do hate virtual teaching and there are moments like earlier today One of my students which actually I forgot to tell you this earlier. So I'll tell you now I was ending a meeting with my kids. I think it was math I was ending our math Google Meet meeting, and I always say, that's it, if you have questions, you can stay, if not, love you, bye, and I always have a couple of kids who say their parents have questions, or they have a question about something, or they just wanna tell me something, and my principal walks through the door as I'm telling them that, and I look up, I see him, and I go, and then go back to my kids, and I was like, right after I did that, I was like, Maylene, you did not just give your principal the sign, but I did, and I meant it like I'll be off in a minute, not I'll be with you in a minute. But I, as soon as I did that, I was like, oh man, that did not look good. <laughs> but one of my sweet girls, she stayed on, and I was like, do you have a question? And she was like, no, I'm just staying on for fun because I like you. <laughs> Like that's so sweet. So yeah, there are still moments, I am still building relationships with them, but I just, I want them back in the classroom so bad. And it will be parent choice, so if a parent doesn't feel comfortable sending their student, then they don't need to, and that's okay with me. That's gonna be a whole other battle, obviously. But yeah, I really, really wanna come back. Leanne Michelle 93 said, where'd you get the small flowers you use on your nails? So I like to do milk bath style nails, like this. They look a little bit different, but I do dip my nails at home and I have everything that I use linked in my link section. So if you check the description box, you'll see it. If you're on Instagram and you click the link in my bio, it'll take you to my Amazon page and I have a section for nails there too. Tonantizen, I don't know how to say your name, but Tonantizen Sib, what's your morning and night routine like? Um, actually, I'm glad you brought this up because I want to start doing 10 minute workouts in the morning. Is that correct? Like I just want to start doing 10 minute workouts in the morning and wake up a little bit earlier. Right now I'm waking up 
usually at like 6 then getting ready some days I'm not wearing makeup which you guys know um, and that's what I do I get ready and I like go I don't know if you want like a morning routine video some days I make smoothies some days I make coffee <sighs> I don't know. Let me know if you want to see a morning routine. A night routine video, I'm not really sure I want to do because I basically just come home, work out, we eat dinner, and we watch TV. <laughs> so I don't I don't know if this, these things are interesting. I don't know if I could edit it to make it look interesting, but that's what it is. AshAttack91 said, good PD I can do while staying home this year. I love Jen Jones. I don't know what grade you teach, so... I don't know, but I love Jen Jones. She has so, so, so many professional developments for teachers. They're online and you get a discount after you do one. So you can get like, I think 50% off your next one. So I would definitely look into her. And you can also, you're at home. Yeah, you're at home. You can also still ask your administrator to pay for professional development for you. So check into that. Samantha K. Stevens said, what's the hardest part about online school slash having so long between teaching then and now. So I think what you're asking is about my transition back into the classroom and teaching online now. I feel like I have forgotten a lot, but not about teaching. I feel like I've forgotten a lot about like things I did in the classroom and how I organized things. I have been re-watching my first grade vlogs just so I can remember how I did things because I have forgotten so much. Like not about teaching. Teaching that comes so naturally, that's fine. But just like procedures and things I have, I've forgotten. I've forgotten so much in the year I wasn't teaching. Adjusting to teaching online is I mean, to put it simply, a nightmare. I mean, there's things that would take two seconds in class and they take 20 minutes to do virtually and it's not the same. I feel like they're missing out on so much and there's only so much that I can do with them virtually. I feel like it's harder to explain instructions. I have been teaching students to use scissors this week and it has been insane, like absolutely insane. And it's just, it's not it's not the easiest thing and I don't care if people are on here making it look easy because it's not easy it's hard and I want them in person <laughs> all this to say I do still enjoy teaching you guys know you can tell I think when you watch my videos that I do still enjoy teaching this isn't how I want to teach but I'm grateful that I'm able to first grade quarter said do you do whole class lessons live or only small lessons live okay so all my lessons are live I don't have any pre-recorded lessons because honestly I know that my parents are not gonna click on those videos and watch them with their kids and even if they did I know my kids would not be interested in it so I have no pre-recorded lessons so I do whole class and small group lessons live which if you're curious about my schedule in my very first teacher vlog which you can click right up here to watch I showed you my exact schedule first grade corner also asked favorite way to build classroom community virtually I wouldn't say that I have a favorite way right now because I've only been doing like read alouds and morning meetings and discussions and just kind of like being myself with them but I think that is my favorite way to build community is to just be myself with them have conversations with them play with them be silly yesterday or maybe the day before yesterday our internet was acting weird and I couldn't play a YouTube video I think I was on the wrong Wi-Fi but I ended up having to sing our alphabet song and I forgot to tell you this on the day it happened but I couldn't play our alphabet song and I was like well I'm just gonna sing it and sing with me but don't laugh at me because Miss Call's not a good singer but I'm gonna sing for you anyway and we sang the Jack Hartman see it say it sign it the letters of the alphabet and they were laughing at me the whole time like in a funny friendly way and it was just one of those moments where I was like I love these kids so much I just love those little moments so I really try to be myself with the kids I try to play with them to joke around with them I love the morning meeting questions we do in the morning um, today's question was if you were a teacher what would we do in school yesterday I said if you had one wish what would it be the day before I said if you could have any animal as a pet what would it be and just asking fun questions like that to get them to open up and to kind of see inside their mind I love that I think it's a great way to build community let me actually check YouTube really quickly and see if there's any questions in the comment section. How do you show your students what you're doing on your iPad and paper? So for iPad, when I'm on my iPad, I'm usually using Jamboard. So you can pull up the Jamboard website on Chrome and just share your screen with your kids. And then what you do on your iPad is mirrored because it's um, like a cloud mirroring website. I don't know, that's what I use. And then anything else, I'm just using a document camera. 
you guys seriously leave the absolute best compliments <laughs> and there's this funny one um, that Lauren from Putting Them First said in my last video when I was doing math with my kids I was counting the Unifix cubes and I was showing them like the wrong way to do it I was like is this how you count and Lauren said <laughs> in other news I did order some weather seasonal books because we're gonna start getting into science content maybe i don't know y'all it is a struggle okay so i don't teach for the full day i only teach from 8 a.m to 12 30 and then we're done oh and also when the students come back in person when when say it with me when the students come back in person the schedule will be the same it will be a modified schedule so they will come from 8 to 12 35 that will be the schedule it won't be all day but teaching literacy and math alone is so hard on the computer with kindergartners. It is so hard. We talked about this. My kids are kindergartners. They do not have a very long attention span and it's very easy to get confused virtually. So I have been focusing on like the core skills so far, but I'm going to start weather next week. And I got this book, Froggy the Frogcaster. And I had no idea it was like a whole thing. This is like an incredibly long book. So I'll show you like a preview. I could take the camera down, but I'm too lazy. So you'll just have to look. It's like a whole, a whole thing. Like I think I could spend a week on this book. Freddie loves learning about the weather and is known for having the best predictions in town. But what happens when the town picnic is almost ruined by a storm that catches the new Frog News Network forecast or best prize? It's up to Freddie to save the day. Well-known Fox News meteorologist Janice Dean Pence is exciting humorous tale. Oh, so it was written by a meteorologist. It's really long and I was just telling you about their attention spans. I am going to take a deeper look at this book and see if it needs to be stretched. Stretched. Also getting two more books in the mail that should be here tonight. So for the rest of the night, I am just going to have dinner with my husband, relax. Hey friends, it's Sunday. I've edited the video up until this point. I've had a good weekend so far. I did get my glasses dipped so that was a success but i wanted to show you the other two books that i got the first one is a tree for all seasons this one is by robin bernard and i have this national geographic kids book in i think pumpkins is the one i have in tennessee but it's on its way this book is really awesome it has great beautiful big pictures everything is really easy to understand for kids. It is a National Geographic book. So I do have the Pumpkins book. I honestly would love to get all of these books because they're so good. So I highly, highly recommend this book. And this book is called Four Seasons Make a Year by Ann Rockwell. Here's a little preview. So I was just flipping through them, but these two books are gonna be really, really good for seasons. Um, and like I said, I also have this Froggy the Frogcaster book. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know what else you want to see. Make sure you like this video and I will see you in the next one.